If you guys saw my video earlier today, then you've seen that Adobe Muse 7.0 came out today, and it does some cool stuff, including being able to use a full screen slideshow that fills the entire browser, and also being able to use scroll position to advance the slides in a slideshow, meaning as you scroll down, the slideshow will change as you scroll in a certain interval, like every 500 pixels, or in my case, every 1,000 pixels. And what that example looks like here for me is as I scroll down, see that? It turned blue, and I keep scrolling, turns green, keep scrolling, turns red, and I chose those colors. It's nothing arbitrary. This is really just a slideshow in the background, and the slides happen to be solid colored blocks. So you could do this with images. I just happen to be doing it with colors, and there is a little bit of setup involved with that. It's that you have to have some images. So here, if I go to my folder where I've put my colors, you can see I've got a little 100 by 100 square of blue. I've got gray, I've got green, etc., etc., and that's what my setup really looks like. Just getting prepared with the images that you'd like or the colors that you'd like uh, to be in the background. And if I head over to Muse, you can see here that I haven't done that yet. I've just basically laid out a page with some information. And what's important about laying out the information on your page in Muse before you even set up this background is that they're spaced evenly, that your sections uh, where you want the colors to change are spaced evenly. And if we look over here at the uh, at the ruler on the left hand side you can see this is the top of my page and as I scroll down the top of this is at 1000 pixels down now that parts not super important but the next one is at 2000 pixels down that is important that means I've created a 1000 pixel gap which means the next thing also has to be a 1000 pixel gap away you can see this one's at 3000 and the next one you guessed it is at 4,000. So they're each 1,000 pixels away. So I've set an interval of 1,000 pixels to be uh, the gap and therefore the, uh, the way that I can tell Muse how, uh, how quickly or how slowly I want it to advance the slides as I scroll. I'm going to tell it every 1,000 pixels I would like it to advance. Uh, so now i got to get the slideshow in there. And in this case, I'm going to go to the wiz widgets library here and I'm going to look for the full screen slideshow that's new in Muse 7.0 so if you don't have it go ahead and do that update and I'm gonna drag that full screen slideshow right on top of my canvas just on the blank part of my canvas now the full screen slideshow is under the impression that it is going to be the star of the show you can see here that it covers up everything if I deselect it it's still on top of everything uh, so the first thing that I would like to do uh, I'm gonna click on it with two fingers on my on my MacBook Pro here which is a right click essentially and I'm going to arrange it by sending it to the back all the way to the back not just backward I want it to be behind everything and now that I've sent it to the back uh, all my content is on top of it and you can see that the placeholder image of this flower has been stretched out and looks really really nasty in the background but that's okay you can actually ignore that completely uh, because when it is done that image will only scale to fill the browser it won't scale to fill uh, top to bottom on the content here I've still got this navigation which I don't want so I'm gonna click on my little blue disclosure triangle here and I don't want it to autoplay I would like for it to advance based on scroll position so I'm gonna turn off autoplay uh, I'm also gonna turn off swipe I don't want a touch enable device to accidentally uh, override the scroll position there and then I'm also gonna turn off previous next and counter so that way it's nothing but a slideshow and I want to double check that I am filling the frame proportionally here and I can now add my images. I'm going to click on this little folder, and now I got to go find my colors. Let's see where I put them. I think they're in this folder somewhere. And in fact, if you've got your uh, your folder open already, you could just grab them from here and drag them straight into Muse. So let me cancel. I'll actually do it that way. I'm going to highlight these five colors. I think that's all I got. Yep, those five colors. And I'll drag it right onto my slideshow, and it loads up the little cursor gun there, and I click and it pops them all in there. Now the order of the colors, a lot of people get frustrated with slideshows and they get frustrated with the fact that uh, there's no real way to see what's going on in terms of the order, in terms of what I dropped in there, what I may have forgotten. Uh, the layers palette is your best friend for this. If you go to the layers palette, normally the layers palette actually shows your layers, but it looks like, uh, looks like we just found a bug. The layers palette is not showing my layers, but if your layers palette is working properly, 
you're able to go into layers and you're able to see uh, what's in your slideshow by expanding it on the layers palette and you're able to actually rearrange things there uh, and you can even remove things entirely by highlighting them and deleting them from the layers palette so now that I've got my slideshow in here uh, I've got to tell Muse that I would like it to advance based on my scroll position so I've got to select my slideshow got to go to my scroll effects panel here and uh, the third button uh, of these new uh, four buttons the third one is the slideshow button and I'm going to turn this on and if you hover your cursor over that it gives you a little description and the confusing part here is that we do have a key position option and then we also have a switch slides every option and this confused me a bit at first but what it really comes down to is if I set this to zero if I just say I don't want to do anything special with when it starts I just want it to start right when you start scrolling and I want it to change every 1000 pixels uh, that would work except for the fact that this is a thousand pixels down and it wouldn't change until I get right there right where I'm bumping the 1000 pixel mark with the top of my browser in which case that's kinda late I would like for the color to change before that reaches the top of the browser so in short this option here is an offset that allows me to offset where each one changes so I do want them to change every 1000 pixels that is the truth but I would like each one to change maybe maybe like 300 pixels earlier than the top of the browser so here's where I'm gonna establish that gap I'm gonna type in 300 oops, not 3000 300 so I'm saying 300 pixels above every 1000 pixels so here about and then when I get to here about see how I'm creating that gap so all I'm doing by filling in this box is creating a gap uh, the problem is I put 300 and what 300 means is 300 pixels after so now it's not gonna change until we're about here what I really want is negative 300 pixels that means 300 pixels earlier I would like for the image to change that is exactly what I want so let's preview this in the browser let's take a look so as I'm scrolling there we go it changed keep scrolling there we go changes again so 300 pixels might be a bit far but then again I've got the resolution of my screen turned down so might not be mine might not be a, a perfect example of the math that goes into this but you can see here that 300 pixels on my screen translates to a gap about that size which is way too big um, so I'd want to go back in there and I'd want to shrink that gap maybe make it a gap of negative 150 or something like that but also when I go in here and preview this you guys probably saw that it is wiping across instead of doing the fade so of course just like any slideshow you can go back to the blue disclosure triangle in the corner of the slideshow and you could tell it to transition with the fade or with the horizontal wipe or with the vertical wipe so I'll switch it to the fade I've got my uh, I think I've got my scroll offset here at 150 okay perfect so now this should happen at a much more reasonable point in the scrolling yeah now it's happening right there that's a better gap that's a much better gap there and as I keep scrolling I keep getting my transitions here and it's glitching a little bit for me but that's probably because I'm doing a screen recording at the same time and there you have it so pretty neat effect very very neat effect you can do it with colors you can do it with images uh, I'd really like to see what what people pull off with this uh, assuming your foreground image and your background image don't clash with one another I think it would be cool to use something more uh, more complex maybe more flashy than just solid colors but for my example I use those solid colors so whatever you guys want to do and uh, also if you guys like these sort of flat colors I just want to run this by you I have added to museresources.com under graphics um, this flat colors palette that you can download uh, it's just a PNG image that you can drop into a document and then you can use the eyedropper tool uh, to select those colors so again if you guys haven't seen museresources.com this is how I'm going to be getting graphics and uh, muse library files to you guys to follow along with the tutorials or just to just to help you guys get your work done faster so if you like this stuff please stay tuned please subscribe if you haven't already and I've got plenty more stuff coming soon